hello treasures welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great thanks for stopping by in today's video i'm going to show you how i make and package my nigerian chin chin for sale so keep watching so here are all the ingredients we'll be using for this our chin chin recipe i have here half pint of flour if you're in nigeria if you live in nigeria we measure here or we buy in paints so this is half paint or half paint of octopus flour and if you're using cup well measure eight or nine cups of octopus flour i have my one cup of sugar here i'm using one sachet of a uh, nutmeg this is equal to one tablespoon does it have gram here one tablespoon cannot find the gram but just the one sachet of um nutmeg i'm using one tablespoon of baking powder this is my milk i'm using one cup of milk this is the margarine i'll be using i'm using this 250 gram of margarine i'm using half um, sorry i want teaspoon i'm using half teaspoon i'm not using up to one i'm using half teaspoon of salt because this margarine contains salt i'm using two eggs you can skip eggs you can skip egg and a little water which will use to help to make it into a dough or form a dough with it so let's get started let's mix everything together <laughs> it's not going to take time for that so let's mix everything together so we'll start by adding the flour the sugar you can see reduce the sugar if you don't want it sugary After mixing the dry ingredients, I will then add my margarine or butter and mix it also until it mixes well into the flour mix. We then add our weight ingredients. Add the egg. The milk. Let's mix it first before we add water. The water is just to help to bring it together. So adding water to it. Now we use this to bring everything together. Oh. 
I'm trying not to add it too much water. I'm just sprinkling it water so that I can bring the two together. Don't be tempted to add much water to bring it. This, <clears throat> the water I sprinkled now should be enough to bring it together. Yay, this can be hard. <laughs> Making changes is not easy. Nothing is easy anyway. So, I'm going to cover and leave this for some minutes. 10 to 15 to 20 minutes. You can even wrap this, keep it anytime you have the chance. You continue with it. You can leave, uh, up, stay up to a day before you start your, you can make this, this one leave in the fridge and make your chain chain anytime you have the time. <laughs> no time. Hey. It's time to knead our dough. Whoa, you can see that it's softer. So I'm going to be kneading it batch by batch like that. <laughs> I'm going to sprinkle some all purpose flour here. And decide to get a good shape so you cut out some parts so that you get a good shape so you can still decide to cut this one one Can always remove the one that is not the size you want. Once you put this in the oil, it is going to separate. So don't even worry about it being like this, it will separate in the oil. You can also cut this one work and be cutting it one work like this. can share it you can share it if you have children around they can help you and cut it this way or you want to see that you can just do it one one like this so that you see that and cut it but I find it faster this way cut everything and then Cut the other way.
we don't cut in it so the next thing is to go and start frying them you can use the sifi bubbles add your change and that way you can also add some and see if it will bubble You have to stay it so that you can separate. I like to use this kind of spatula. You can use any sp uh, spatula, put it a spatula spatula. <laughs> Stay until you're sure you've separated at least 95 99 percent 99%. Well, or 98. Then I will let it fry, stirring intervally or at intervals. You. you have to stay to so that you can fry evenly if not some will fry before the other and I'm frying this on medium heat don't want it to burn so getting ready to come out let's leave it for maybe a minute more It's time to bring it out. If you're waiting for when it will turn brown, you go. <laughs> Let me get that. If you're waiting for it to turn brown, totally brown in this thing, it will burn. So bring it out there. And here we have our chin chin all fried. After frying, I'll transfer into a bigger basket or sieve. Allow it to cool down before packing it with my nylons and the bottles or plates, depending on where you want to pack it or what you want to pack it with. So I have, here I have the ones I packed into a nylon, some plastic plates and also bottles. The next thing I'll do is to bring out my sealing machine and start sealing them.
so after sealing the ones that need to be sealed i'll then place my labels on them so you can see it, our chinchin is ready for sale i hope you enjoyed watching the video and i hope you also find it useful please help us give us a thumbs up that's click the like button and also share the video and to my new subscribers you're highly welcome to my old subscribers thank you so much for always supporting thank you all for watching until i see you again in my next video remain blessed and safe i love you all bye bye